Riverdale's not as good a view as I wanted. I got some traffic in front of me, but you'll get the, uh, the gist here, the idea of these rock formations. The road cuts right through the middle of them. Uh, there you can see Granite Dells Road. Anywho, there's houses and stuff nestled all up in here in the rocks. And there's little housing communities and stuff actually even buried way up in there. Uh, here's one down in here, the canyons. But you can see it's a real popular rock climbing area. In fact, the college, Prescott College, brings, uh, they have rock climbing classes. Yeah, that's what I want to major in for college is rock climbing, but they'll get up here and they'll climb up on these rock formations. They're actually quite a bit bigger than you think. Um, oh, I don't know, maybe 75, 80 feet up there. But uh, I always wondered, you know, you hear that little song, here's another little housing community, and then there's a whole roadway and whatnot back in there that goes back to a whole nother development. But I've always wondered, you always hear that kid song, The Farmer in the Dell, you know, Hi Ho, the Merry Old Farmer in the Dell. I never knew what the hell a Dell was. So I guess it's the farmer's in a big pile of rocks. I don't know. Do you guys know what, if that's what that means? Because I'm not sure. I never, I mean, singing this song even as a kid, I never knew what, what the heck, I never knew where he was. I just knew it rhymed. Um, actually, it didn't rhyme with anything, did it? I don't even remember the damn song now. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll check back with you guys later. What's up, Interspace? Interwebs? Intercontinental Ballistic? Okay, whatever. Just went to the store. Grocery type. Pick up some stuff to make cheesesteak egg rolls. <clears throat> Favorite little... Um, um, health food snack, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. Um, sorry, I got you on the steering wheel, kind of driving with you. Let's see if that helps better. It's hard to, hard to vlog and drive a six-speed manual transmission at the same time. Anyway, a uh, beautiful sunset going on over Glassford Hill. Let's see if you can catch a little peek in the window there in the mirror. Trying not to get run over. It's a crazy, crazy little shopping center. It's kind of a little bit of everything going on here. So, anyway, gonna make cheesesteak egg rolls. Uh, Chris, my brother, Jessica, uh, when they went down to the Outer Banks for their wedding, stopped at this little bar. They went down a day or two ahead of everybody to get everything checked in, buy groceries, supplies, and whatnot. But uh, they went to this little bar down in the Outer Banks and had these cheesesteak egg rolls as a snack, an appetizer or whatever. Loved them. Spent, well, I guess several tries trying to recreate them. And uh, according to them, kept overthinking it really. Uh, they turned out to be a whole lot more simple than uh, what they thought they were over seasoning and no too many ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, steakums and cheese whiz, dude. No joke. Uh, some onion sauteed up with the steakums, cheese whiz, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Now I've given away my super secret recipe. But that's all there is to it. And then roll them up in uh, egg roll wrappers like wontons and deep fry them. And that is what I'm going to do. They're going to be spectacular. So, I'm um, headed back to the house. I gotta switch out the oil, clean up the deep fryer a little bit, and uh, have some lovely deliciousness. I'll show you what they're all about here in just a little while. See ya. Here you go, everybody. I told you they were delicious. Here. Constantly later.